What's up, everybody? This doesn't make me dizzy. Does this make you dizzy? So, um, whoa. So where am I? I'm uh, somewhere in Burr Ridge, Illinois, spinning in circles. I bet I'll make you real sick. Anyway, some of you people out there may think that uh, I'm not really uh, been doing a whole lot lately. But it's real bad whenever you, uh, I'm up here doing some business training, by the way. Uh, the company I work for is sending me up here for some training. Probably ain't going to learn much because it's like a beginner class for what I already know. But that's okay because I'm glad I'm here. And uh, hopefully I get to meet some of you. But uh, some of you think that I don't really, uh, I don't know, do a whole lot during my time. Well, I've actually got all of my stuff here. Uh, all of my electronics. I got the ignition coil for the injector set up here. I've got the uh, pulse fire box. The old laptop, uh, the new laptop I got from my wife. It's not new, it's actually very, very old, but it's a good one I got from a friend. And uh, I'm going to show you some pretty fun stuff, but uh, right now, this particular video, I just want to show you, uh, you know, it's pretty bad, right, when you go on a uh, business training and what do you do? Bring everything with you, so you can play. But it's a good opportunity for me to make some videos. Anyway. Uh, here's what I got. I don't want to be very loud because it's uh, very late. It's actually almost 11 o'clock p.m. So I'm not going to be able to play a whole lot with this coil, but I kind of wanted to show you something real fun. Um, I'm going to plug this uh, cord in, and this fan's going to turn on. It's very loud. But besides that, um, I've got this thing cranked up real high. I've got this gap big enough where it doesn't jump, and everything else jumps. So I'm going to only do it for a second because it's pretty wild. Um, and then I'm going to actually make a gap so we can play with it. Like I said, I don't want to do too many lower frequencies because it's very loud. And uh, the spark puts off a very loud noise. So let's plug this in. If I can get it. Now right, that's the fan. Now real quickly, I'm just going to flip this on. I've already got it to where I want it. And you can watch this. Okay. Let me turn off the lights. That's good enough. Alright, so that's how high of the potential that I've got. Now, let's go ahead and make the gap and we won't have this problem. Oh, I see that. May have burned some stuff through. Tell you what, I'm going to set the camera down and uh, focus on what we're doing here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand this up so we can see it sparking. And, uh, that'll be alright. Let me turn this light off. That'll work. That's good enough. Sorry, this is uncut footage. I don't have very good pieces of equipment to uh, edit on. We're going to have to deal with it. I'm going to try lower frequency. That thing's bad. Um. <laughs> That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good spark there. Anyway, 
Now, I am using uh, 12 volts. I'm sorry, 18 volts and not 12. So, that's a little bit more than usual. I'm going to turn that off and turn the lights back on and talk to you for a second about this coil. I am uh, probably shouldn't be using this 18 volt battery, but I am. 18 volts. And uh, I am definitely burning through that. Look at that. No, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. One more light. Um, so you can tell I can need a little more coating on there. What's the bottom look like? The bottom's burning out too. Just the outer two coils is jumping against here. So I need some more insulation between this um, outer thing and this other thing. But for now, that's what you get. Um, this is a 36 AWG magnet wire and uh, triple coated thanks to Blaine he sent me that and then I put that uh, red varnish electrical insulator on the outside obviously if I had a small enough gap this thing wouldn't be jumping all over this thing that's why that oil bath would be accurate I should put in oil put this thing in oil um, interestingly you know what I need to set the camera up and uh, I need to set the amp meter up and take some uh, readings and see what the amperage is so I guess we'll do that real quick and I'll cut this footage anyway all right, well, my amp meter doesn't read correctly because this is such a high frequency, but I can tell you that the um, the chip running it and the wires going to the battery, they don't really get very hot. Uh, the coil itself stays pretty cool. Uh, compared to my first, that fan is really loud. Compared to my first couple of videos uh, where I did this originally with different size wire, I was actually pulling a lot more current than I am now uh, and where everything stays cooler. now. I don't have the stainless steel wire, so that might be a reason, but uh, this is about the good lighting in my basement. Anyway, I'm going to show you really quick how loud this thing is. I've got it hooked up to 12 volt, and uh, I'm only going to do it for a small bit because it's very loud. So, I want you to hear it though. Anyway, I'm not going to do that very long, it's very loud, but I will turn up the frequency. At low, at low frequencies like this, it almost acts as a, uh, like a capacitive discharge. This is gating, by the way. I think I internally shorted that out because it just burned out. Internally shorting out, but whatever. Um, so there you go. Works really well. You can tell it's a very hot arc. 
I bet you're gonna close this card while this guy starts to burn. Now, I will show you something pretty cool. And I don't know if this is gonna work. But I'm gonna try it. I gotta turn off all these lights, so hold on. Alright, I got all the lights on. Off, I mean, so this may not focus very well. But, uh... What I want to show you... Basically is that right there. And you can't really even see it. There you go. I'm going to hold on to the uh, wire while I touch it. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to see it, are you? See if I can get a different frequency. There you go. Alright, so I'm actually holding that. And it's actually like burning my hands. Oh. But, uh. Yep. That's the corona discharge coming off into my hand. And there goes my stuff. Anyway. I don't know if you could see that or not. But basically that was... That was me holding the wire like this, and you can see my fingers light up. Now, my hand is actually warm, and you can actually see where it, where it burnt my finger right there. So, it's got a lot of current. Look at that, all the way through there, you can see where it burnt my finger. Um, and, uh, there it goes. Yeah, I'm still good, I'm still lit. I was just at such a high frequency. Uh, anyway. There it is. Hope you love it. It's very loud, and I'm probably going to make my neighbors mad. So, um, there you have it. In the, uh, I'm going to call this the hotel lab. And uh, you should see me drag all this stuff up here. It's pretty funny. I had the uh, cart pushing it up there with all this stuff on it. Uh, the next thing I want to show you guys while I'm here, and uh, I'll meet up with a few, uh, two individuals contacted me, but uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. One thing I want to show you is my data logger that I made with Pulsefire, thanks to William, who uh, made this thing. We can uh, use Pulsefire to do data logging, so that's another video I'm going to make. But anyway, that's it. So this is Russ signing off from the uh, hotel lab in Burr Ridge, Illinois, and uh for those of you here, like I said, I uh, did not respond to one email, but I will today before I go to bed uh, in like five minutes because I'm tired. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So there you go. That is the ignition coil. And as you can tell, I need even more insulation because I have uh, officially burned look at that. Burned a hole in my mylar. Malar. Well, this is malar, if I'm saying that right. And, uh, looks like I might need another coating and uh, may need to rewrap that but again this is testing phases you never know what you're going to get I think if this was inside the injector and it was small uh, I think we may have a better better deal there but this video is probably going to take all night to upload so we'll see you in the morning other than that this is Russ leave me a comment peace out continuing on the adventure see you guys have a good night